Hey guys, Mike here with TV Parts today. We're gonna to be doing another removal video. This time's with a Sony Bravia. The model is XBR-55A9G. Uh, we're just gonna be removing the back off of this set as well as pulling the boards out. As always, be sure to give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 for any questions or orders, and let's get into it. All right, guys, uh, we're just gonna show you how to get this back removed off of this one. We've just got about nine screws or so. You'll see them pointed out along the back side. Uh, and then down here, there's a little latch, but we'll get to that whenever we get there. So first, let's get these removed. And I believe that is it for the screws. Over here on this corner, there is a little lever. You're gonna wanna shift it towards you. You'll see a little arrow pointing directly towards the bottom. You're just gonna you hear that? That's the click. And then from this point, we can start lifting up on this back. Now, slowly shimmy around the side. You'll feel it pop and give way from the chassis. And once you have it lifted up about like this or so, this top piece is actually latched into the chassis of the TV. So once you get it up about this high or so, just shift it away from you towards the top and that whole piece just slides directly off of there. All right, first thing we're gonna start with is gonna be this T-Con. As you can see, we've got a lot going on. Uh, the very first thing that we're gonna want to do, um, really, if you can, go ahead and get these out of the way. We're gonna just pinch down and pull these out. They go directly to the power supply. There you go, the easiest part of this T-Con board. Next step, this frame right here, you're gonna notice a screw right cha and right cha. Remove those. With those removed, you'll notice this cable right here is connected to this framing piece. We're just gonna lift straight up and go ahead and gently flip this over and you'll have complete access to this plug. There it is there. You're just gonna pinch on that clip and pull it out gently. Pinch it. Pull that right out. We have these two separated. Just sit that off to the side and we can move on from here. Focus here at this point on this Wi-Fi card. We're gonna look at this latch right here, this metal piece, that latch, you're gonna press straight down on and pull this ribbon out. So press and this ribbon will come right out just like so. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get this whole piece removed. So there's a latch here on the side of this Wi-Fi card. Pull it away from the board. Just gently and hold it in place, and you should be able to lift this up and slide it on out from this other latch here. Now we have our Wi-Fi card removed. Now let's get this plastic housing out of the way. It is held in place by these two metal uh, slips here, and then we've got a clip up top and we've also got a little spot we can pull up on. This right here is a latch. You're gonna press it towards you. At the same time, you're gonna lift up on this top piece as well. So, press it towards you, lift that straight up, and you can see how it is now loose. It's still underneath these two flaps, so just pull that out and set that off to the side as well. And now we have access to what we were trying to get to, which are these ribbon cables here. What you're gonna wanna do with this is see if you can't get underneath of here and lift up that tape just to peel it off to the side. Let's get it out of the way. Be very, very gentle with this. You do not wanna rip that ribbon cable. There we go. We've got that set off. Let's work on this piece here. Be very gentle. You might hold this in place while you're pulling back on it. There we go. Just kind of leave that off to the side there. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is get it removed from this board here. It's just like any other ribbon cable. Get your fingernail up underneath of that flap, lift it up, and shimmy that on out of there. Do the same thing on this other side. Get your fingernail under that flap, lift it up gently, shimmy that on out. All right. You're gonna to wanna to take a step back and take a gander at where all these cables are leading to, what you have left on the board at least. If you follow this one all the way over, it goes directly to the main board, there's a clip right here. 
If you follow this ribbon cable all the way up and around, it attaches to the main board right here on this clip. Let's go ahead and get this one out of the way first. That's just like it was at the other end on this metal bracket, press down gently, and this ribbon cable will come free just like that. Now, taking a look here, we've got to get this bracket removed first. Very gently, if you press your thumb on the coax and get your fingers up underneath of this plastic piece, this whole thing should come free with just a little bit of elbow grease. You don't want to be too rough with it. There we go. Go ahead and sit that off to the side. You'll notice another strip of tape right here connecting to this cable right here. Let's go ahead and peel this back very gently. Get that out of the way. And now we can work with the getting this removed. It's going to be two on the side. So pinch it on the sides and slide it out. You might need to use both hands like me here. Pinch it. Just kind of rock it a bit. Oh, there we go. She's free. Be very gentle. Just sit that off to the side. And now we have two LVDS cables. Both of these, pinch them on the sides and just pull it right on out. Pinch it. Just kind of walk it out of there. We've got that one free. Let's work on this one. Pinch it on the sides. Shimmy it on out. All right. Hard part's done. At this point, we can just get these screws removed and get this plate lifted up and off. And we can just rotate it over here to the main board. Alrighty. Now, when we're lifting this up, be very careful as this plate, I believe, is adhered to the T-con beneath it. So as you're lifting up, just kind of try to separate it very gently with your hand. Make sure nothing is connected while you're doing this. You'll notice these ribbon cables here. Be very careful. Just slide it right out from underneath of them. And we can just sit this off to the side for the time being. And now we have access to the T-Con. We've got these removed already. We've got these guys up top. Now all we have left are these ribbon cables at the bottom, and it looks like just a few screws holding this into place. So get your fingernail up underneath of these flaps and go ahead and pull that on out of there. Same with this guy, lift it up, pull this one out. You might use both hands to keep that even. There we go. Yep, there we are, lift up, very gentle, just slide it on out. Lift up, slide on out. All right, looks like we've got three screws left here. We are in the home stretch. Be gentle lifting up on this. There's no resistance. Doesn't look like there's any adhesive holding that down. Let's take a look on the back side. No, she's good to go, folks. And that is our T-Con. All right, we're gonna move on to the main board here now. Uh, we went on ahead and reconnected these cablings just so that way we could show you guys how to properly remove them once you've gotten to the main board, just in case you need to remove this instead of that monster that we uh, just worked on previously. So for this guy here, if you take a look at this plastic bracket right here, put your thumb on that coax and you should be able to get some leverage and just shimmy that whole frame right off of that. And now we have more room to work with. If you remember from the last one, we've got this clip, but we've also got it held down by this tape. Just get underneath of that tape, peel it straight back gently, just to get it over that. And this clip, pinch it on the sides and pull it right out. This one's gonna be a little, a little more snug, so have some patience. Use two hands like me here. There we go. Got that out of the way. Now we've got these ribbon cables here. If you take a look, you're gonna see two black plastic nubs up on the top. We're just gonna press straight down with those and then shimmy this cable out from underneath of it. Just to show you again, these two black nubbins, you're gonna press straight down onto them. And while you're doing that, pinch this cable and shimmy it out away from you, towards you rather. So let's press down and that pulls right on out. The exact same thing with this guy. Press down on those two nubs, get your finger underneath of that ribbon, 
and it slides right on out. This one here, you're gonna see the little metal bracket right on the top there. We're just gonna press down and then pull this out. So let's see if I can get a better angle for you. There we are. Press down on that metal bracket to release it. Pull that on out. Now we have that removed. This guy here, just a regular old clip on the top. Pinch it with your thumbnail, pull that out. Same with this guy here. Pinch it, pull it straight out. One more, pinch it, pull it out. And at this point, we can see that we've got three screws, four and five, six, seven, eight. To get to these guys, we've got another plastic bracket, just like on the other side that went along this edge. Just try to get some leverage behind it, and this should just slide directly out and away from the board. Try to be a little gentle with it, there we go. It's just latched on by a couple of clips down through here. All right, hard parts out of the way. Now we just have these screws to remove and we are set to go. All right, as always, be gentle lifting up. It does feel like there's some resistance. Just keep on shimmying. You don't wanna bend the board, you don't wanna break it, you don't wanna damage it, so just kinda of shift it left to right, and we can free up from that adhesive. And you can see two spots right here and here. Those two are what we're holding the back of this into place. So, there's our main board. All right, we've saved the easiest board for last. It's gonna be our power supply. We've just got one, two, count them, three plugs, and then a handful of screws around the outside, and that'll be it for this one, folks. So, as always, pinch it down, pull it out, pinch it down to release that latch right there with your fingernail and that'll pull straight out for you and then our power cord right through here which is where uh, our power cord would actually connect to the back of the television set press down that middle lever and pull it on out and then we've just got a handful of screws and i think we're home free take another gander make sure nothing else is connected I don't see anything, it looks like we are set to go. No more screws just kind of hidden throughout. Be very gentle as always in case there's adhesive. Oh, 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 looky there folks. We've got her, we have this television completed and there we have it. So there we have it, another pretty simple removal video. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do subscribe to our channel, your first order will qualify for 20% off and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.